say Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, and it reads, But seek ye first the kingdom of the heavenly Father and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the heavenly Father and his only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here for a bear, right? This is what we're supposed to be doing. The Lord put his spirit on us to return, to repent. So we'll be seeking first the kingdom of heaven. Which starts off with this word. This is our main priority. Everything else, secondary. Whatever it is, secondary. Let's give it again. Something quick. We're about to head out, Lord willing. Get this daily bread. Just something that I constantly think about. The Lord had me constantly thinking about. Just seeking him first. Just seeking his word first. You see? Certain things the Lord don't want us to have right now. No, no matter what it is. Whatever you don't have right now. The Lord don't even remember. It. It's his movie. It's already written. From the, well, from the, what, the beginning to the end. It's already written. What you're supposed to have. Who you're supposed to be. Who you're supposed to be with. Who you don't need to be with. All that's already written, man. What job you supposed to have, what career you supposed to have, what career you don't supposed to have, where you supposed to stay, where you don't supposed to stay. It's already written already. <clears throat> Only thing we need to do is just stick to the script. Because when you try to write your own script and the script is already written, the director gets rid of you. Remember that. When you try to do your own thing and the script is already written, the director gets rid of you. Stop trying to write your own script. The script has already been written. St. Matthew 6, 33. But seek ye for this red letter. Lord, you how I speak who they can call it? Jesus, right? So we're gaining this knowledge, gaining more knowledge right now. Knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. This should be the main priority. The only thing that's going to keep us stable. Hey, everything else, man, the hell with it, man. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. St. Matthew 6, 33, you're stressing yourself out about things that you don't have, places that you haven't been, people who you ain't with. Stressing yourself the hell out, the hell with all that, man. You see, St. Matthew 6, 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, which starts out with this word and his righteousness. You see? Not your own righteousness, but his righteousness. And all these things should be added unto you. That's why you put the Lord first. And the Lord wants us to have certain things, then we're going to have it. No one's going to stop us from getting it. If the Lord don't want you to have anything or certain things, you're not going to have it. All right? It's just, it's just not going to happen. We we need this knowledge. And that's what we're here to do. Matter of fact, let's just get this right quick. And that's, that's exactly what we're here to do. The prophets, the servants of the Lord, we're here to do this right here. Let's just give you this. We're not, we're not, we're not marriage coaches. You see? We're not, we're not, we're not your personal shrink. You see, our job is to feed you with the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. Let's get this. Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, according to his mind. And I'm looking at the news now like, there is lights that are not seeking the Lord. Remember, seek him early. All those that seek him early shall find him. The Lord taking Israelites out, man. I'm looking at the news now. Just, just out, man. Yeah, you, you seeking anything? Remember, I just read, seek ye first the kingdom of the heavenly Father and his righteousness. If, if you're not doing that, what good are you? Why should the Lord leave you on the earth? If you're not seeking him. You know, I'm talking to you Israelites, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It's us. Us, 
if we're not seeking Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, through this word, we're good, are we? Seeking everything else. No, seek the Lord, man. All right? Jeremiah 3 and 15. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, his mind, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding of the Bible. Uh, look, of the Bible. It's, it's not our job to set up soup kitchens and um, um, marriages, dates, and all this. That ain't our job, man. All right? You see? That, 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 ain't, our, that ain't our job. I just showed you what our job is. But you but you do what you got to do, though. You just like out there, you, you do what you got to do. You Everybody's in there a lot. This is uh, Sirach chapter 39, also known as Ecclesiasticus. The scripture that you see on the screen. Sirach chapter 39, verse 33. Just, just be thinking about it all the time. If you don't got it, the Lord don't want you to have it. Whatever we going through, it's all part of the movie, man. You see, whatever we're lacking, let's read this. Sirach chapter 39, verse 33. All the works of the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, are good. All right? And he will give every needful thing and due season. The things that we don't have in due season, if it's his will, he'll give it to us. But no, you can't wait. You can't wait. You want it now. The Lord take it too long. You want it now. And you're not going to take no for an answer. The Lord take it too long for you, right? And then you got you, you lean into your own understanding. D then look. We got to stop leaning into our own understanding. Don't we know by now that it gets us in trouble? We, we, we haven't learned that now by now. The scripture say, examine yourself. We got to examine ourselves every day, man. Is this a move right here I'm, I'm getting ready to make? Is, is this going to hurt, hurt me or help me? Which one is it going to do? We got to pray more, too. We got to pray more. We got to seek counsel. We got to seek counsel more. Can't just lean into our own understanding, get, a, get in an effed up position, and then you want to seek counsel. Then you want to listen. No, we, li we listen now. We seek counsel now. If you don't understand something, you seek counsel. What, what, what part of that are we not understanding? We can't lean. The Lord bring us into this thing, you know what I'm saying, to trust in him. And I'm going to see if I can get that too. I want to get this again. So chapter 39, verse 33. Wait on the Lord. He know what we need. You think the Lord don't know what we need? And what we don't need? Certain things we don't need. You see? Every Israelite man ain't going to get a woman. Every Israelite man ain't going to be single. Every Israelite woman is not going to have a man right now. Every Israelite woman is not going to be single. Point blank, period. But you but you're gonna force the issue though, right? You you're just gonna make yourself have something, right? Let's get it again. Sirach chapter 39, verse 33. You you'll learn, just like when I lean into my own understanding, I eventually learn. Yeah, you, you eventually learn what? The hard way. It's a lesson within everything, though. So it's a, and the Lord teaches us a hard lesson. If the Lord got you in a decent situation, sit your black ass down. Uh, uh, this ain't good enough, Lord. This situation ain't good enough, Lord. I want a better situation. I want a better situation. Next thing you know, you end up in a fucked up situation. And then you reflect back and say, damn, that situation that the Lord put me in, it was pretty decent. You see? Sirach chapter 39, verse 33. All the works of the Lord are good. All the works of the Lord are good. All the works of the Lord are good. What part of the scripture are we not understanding? That's why we got to continue to trust in the Lord. But I want this. I want this. He got it. She got it. I want it. That old kid is shit, man. Gird up your loins like men. 
All the works of the Lord are good, and he will give every needful thing in due season. That's why, that's why the scriptures say, let wisdom, and we're, we're um, works in progress, of course. But we can't be making the same mistakes, though. Yeah, look, our next move could be our last. Just know that. Our next move could be our last. The script has been written. Let's stick to the script. That's why, that's why you, you discern matters. You pretty much can discern them saying when the Lord wants you in a certain space. And when he don't, because the Lord will let you know. And, and unless you're not examining the matter. Just rush it, rush it, rush it, rush it, rush it. Slow the hell down and think for a minute. And I tell myself that every day. Just slow down. Because the Lord going to give you every needful thing in due season. Don't force the issue. Oh, this brother's married. I got to be married. This sister got a husband. I got to get a husband. All right. All right. Go, 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 go ahead then. Go ahead with your bad self. He got a good career. I want a good career. All right. Go, go, go ahead. The career that I got right now, it ain't enough. This is shit, that's what, that's what I'm saying. Then that's how you know you get the good job, you get the good career, then it's less time with the Lord. You see? When, when the first scripture the Lord had me start off with is what? Seek ye first the kingdom of your hawa, baha, shim, yahushah, and all things shall be added. Only thing we need to do is just focus on the Lord. He's going to give us whatever we need. Not whatever we want. Whatever we need. And brothers and sisters are going to get themselves in a whole lot of trouble. Brothers and sisters are going to get themselves in a whole lot of trouble. Matter of fact, let's get that Baruch right quick. This ain't going to be nothing long. About to head out, man. You know how it be. About to head out, Lord willing, and get this daily bread. I want to I get this. I want to get about, probably about two, three more scriptures, then I'm going to wrap it up. So in this pad, Attica got some sense. Let's get this. We got to use our, our head. Like Elder Apostles to Heart said, we got to use our head for more than just a hat, damn um, um, hat rack. You see? Use it. We either going to use it or lose it. Baruch chapter 4, verse 28. For as it was your mind to go astray from the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Remember, we went away. Start, started doing things, I'm saying. It was, it was, it was crazy. Worshiping other gods, eating the bottom of the foot. You, you know the history. We went the hell off, man. But the Lord said, now it was your mind. I put my spirit on you to return. So being returned, seek him 10 times more. For this first priority, seeking the Lord. Not no goddamn career. Not no husband. Not no wife. And a whole lot of us need to stay single any damn way. We got a whole lot of self-improvement to do. I want a man. I want a woman. I want this. I want that. Reflect on yourself. Look in the damn mirror. Look at the man and the woman in the mirror, man. You say, nah, I'm good for right. I'm good for right now. That brother got this, that, and the third. I don't need that. That sister got this, that, and the third. I don't need that. The Lord don't want me that. We got to know when the Lord don't want us to have certain things, man. Because why are we examining the matter? Baruch chapter 4, verse 28. For as it was your mind to go astray from Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, who you eagerly call God and Jesus, so be in return. Seek him ten times more. This first priority. You see? We gotta be, we gotta examine ourselves more, man. We gotta, we gotta be more spiritual than, than carnal. I can't pray that every day. Then the Lord keep me more spiritual than carnal. Be, being carnal gets you in a whole lot of damn trouble. We don't know that by now. We've been around a little while. We still haven't learned that yet. Hey, we we we, we um, reminisce on how we was in the world and how carnal we was, and it got us in a whole lot of crap. It's got us in a whole lot of s h i t, didn't it? Didn't it? And then you come into this thing about you come into this truth and you're still the same damn way. And then you end up in trouble. Lord, I need you, Lord. I need you, Lord. Why won't you say I need you, Lord? You know what I'm saying? When you was being carnal. 
but you get caught on you know what I'm saying, and you end up in some shit, you know what I'm saying, then I need you, Lord, I need you, Lord, I need you, Lord. The Lord, like, I, I know you do. I, 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 I know you were going to come back. I knew you was going to come back begging. Begging for help. Begging for mercy. Instead of trusting in me in, in the first place, we need to stop it, man. All of us. We need to stop it. Proverbs 3 and 5. All hell breaking loose. If you're in a decent situation, sit your black ass down. And stop complicating things. That's all we do is complicate things. That's all we do. Sit down. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Trust in the Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, with all thine heart. And like the scripture says, and you Israelite men and women out there, mind your damn business. Certain matters don't, don't, don't need your influence, don't need your help. Don't need your input. All of us going to learn a, a valuable lesson in this walk. We're going to learn a valuable lesson in this walk. You see? Trust in the Lord. Yeah, how about Hashem Yahweh Shai? Yeah, yeah, Israelites that ain't letting the Lord work. They trying to take the Lord's job away from him. Like the Lord don't know what's going on. Like the Lord don't, you see, like the Lord ain't controlling everything. All right, then, then you get yourself in a whole lot of damn trouble. You Israelite said that you're going to get yourself in a whole lot of trouble, not minding your business. Mind your business. Work out your own self. I, 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 I got to get that too. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, all your mind, and lean not into thy own understanding. We got to stop thinking that we got it. Um, Work out your own salvation. Let the Lord work. I got a Lord. I got a Lord. I got a Lord. What? Won't even let the Lord work. Ain't even giving the Lord time to work. Philippians chapter 2, verse 12. Wherefore, my beloved, the house of David, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. Work out your own salvation. What? Work out your own salvation. What? Work out your own salvation with fear and trust. Worry about you. You just like men out there, worry about you. You just like women, worry about you. Look, look let me worry about me. We put the word out there. Let the let the Lord work, man. Can't, can't stress that enough. Let Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai work. And if you get it, you get it. Let the Lord work. Stop leaning into your own understanding. Let the Lord work. Or or or, or he's gonna make you an example. He's going to make you an example. And just like the scripture at the top of the screen, all the, that's Sirach 39. I left it up there on purpose. Sirach chapter 39, verse 33. All the works of the Lord are good. And he will give every needful thing in due season. Every, every means every. The Lord is in control. Stop thinking that you're in control of the Lord's movie. Stop trying to take control of the Lord's movie. He got it, all right? He got it. I got it, Lord. I got it, Lord. I got it, Lord. The Lord got it, man. One man. Then you come back, then you come back crying to the Lord. Oh, oh, oh. What else, man? What, what else I want to get, man? That's 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 did I, did I read that Isaiah. Did I read that Isaiah 33 and 6. And, and miserable are those that don't take heed to the words of the Lord. It says that in um, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter um, 3, verse 11. Isaiah chapter 33. We don't got it, all right? We don't got it. Got men walking around telling us, I'm, I'm perfect. I'm perfect. I, I, I keep the laws perfect. I'm perfect. Mr. Perfect. 
You you perfect, but you walk around with damn diabetes, right? Huh? You perfect, but you walk around with a damn shaper, right? All right, Mister Perfect. Look, trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not and say, "Well, look, we need to we need to work on ourselves." You see, the Israelite man and Israelite woman, we got a whole lot of work to do with ourselves. You see, some of us don't need no damn relationship, but you're gonna force the issue, and and then then soon some shit happen. Here you go, brother, 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 Lord, 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 Lord. The Lord, like I told you to sit your black ass down. I'm horny, I'm horny, I'm horny. Sit your horny ass down. Isaiah 33 and 6, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. And strength of salvation. You ain't working on yourself, but you want to be in a relationship. That's ain't no. You get into a relationship, and you ain't even working on yourself. That's ain't no. The end. Of, the relationship end up going to the shitter. No one worked on themselves. And like the brother um, Ayasha Moff was saying in his video, you got women calling themselves princesses and and queens, which ain't no queen. You no know saying, but they still keep that that stupid title or whatever. But ain't no self improvement. You see. And that title of a princess that that came with things. She was a she was equipped. You know what I'm saying with sewing. She was equipped with fixing food. You know what I'm saying she she was equipped with being silent. She was equipped with being submissive. And everything else up under the book. It's more than just a title. I'm a king. I'm a king. I'm a king. I'm a king. It's more than just a title. I'm a king, man. I'm a king, man. I'm a king well, with, with no damn job. I'm a king. I'm a king, but can't even damn cook. No, no self improvement whatsoever. We gotta examine ourselves, man. Let's get this one more time. Isaiah thirty-three and six. And Lord willing, the whole elect of the nation of Israel is edified. You see, I know I'm getting something out of it. Isaiah 33 and 6, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. And ain't nothing wrong with seeking counsel. That's what the Lord got his hopeful elect -like men around for. For counsel. You need help with a situation and you, you can't figure it out? Seek counsel first. I mean, that's, that's Bible one-on-one. -on -one. Seek counsel before you even make any kind of major move in your life. Because remember, our next move could be our last. Seek counsel. Because when you don't seek counsel, you, you, you end up knee-deep in the shit. Israelite women, Israelite men, all the works of the Lord are good. And he will give every needful thing in due season. Shalom.